Hi there, Oliver here. Today we're going to talk about tripods, or rather one particular tripod. And especially it's the newest member of my little collection, or as the question came up, why do you need another tripod? I mean, it's a legit question. I already do have, here's a Monfrotto, which I'm uh, just now using for filming. I also have my super awesome 4 series Gizzo with a Novaflex CB5 2 ball head. Super awesome, super stable, and uh, as you might be aware, I love long exposure photography. Uh, really, my, uh, my choice of tripod when it comes to that. But, I also like to travel. Well, at least uh, I'm hoping that I will be able to travel again once these lockdowns are over. And uh, when it comes to traveling, then very often we have limited capacity in terms of weight and space. So, that Gizzo is, uh, yeah, often not the choice when, let's say, we're going on a city trip. So I was looking for a traveler tripod. A travel tripod, for me, uh, had to fulfill a few criteria. First of all, it's the stability. In my case, it needs to be stable enough to deal with a full frame camera and not quite the most lightweight lenses. Then, it also needs to be as lightweight as possible and as compact as possible, the transportability. And finally, well, I didn't like it when uh, it would break the bank or uh, I would have to sell a kidney to be able to afford it. So I done my research, checked what's on the market and uh, a lot of tripods uh, were ruled out immediately. I just didn't fulfill my criteria. And then I came across a Sirui and uh, the model is a Sirui Traveler 7C. We're talking about a carbon fiber tripod with four sections. as a travel tripod where these legs are folding over. And uh, it comes with a ball head, Arca Swiss compatible adapter, and here we're having some tech specs. It has a maximum height of 166.5 centimeters, or just 65.6 inch. It has a foldable length of just 48 centimeters, or 18.9 inch. It has a weight of 1.57 kilogram and a maximum load of 8 kilogram. I mean, these maximum load things, uh, it's often, yeah, the manufacturers are a little optimistic on that, but uh, we're about to find out. And uh, the best thing on it, it came for a retail price of just under £120 on Amazon. So it came today, and uh, let's see what we got for our money. Okay, first of all, let's see what's in the package. I mean, normally when you do an unboxing video, you need to have one of these awesome unboxing knives. Not here, it's open already. So let's open the box and see what's in it. Okay. Good, comes in a plastic bag. Let's open that. Away. Nothing more in here. And first of all, it comes yeah, in a transport bag. A nice zero logo on it, but it is really, well, the first feel of it, just a bag. No padding, nothing. But, okay, why not? Then we have uh -huh, more plastic in it. Uh -huh. What do we have here? Yeah, instructions. I mean, we don't read instructions, do we? But it comes with three Allen keys. Looks like, first look of it, uh, two 4mm and one 3mm. A sticker, quite nice. It also comes with, what do we have here? Metal spikes. Having three metal spikes here. And uh, yeah, looks quite nice. They have a hole drilled in the center, that means you can use one of these Allen keys to actually tighten them. And this thing here is a wrist strap. I mean, uh, for a travel tripod you don't really need a wrist strap, but allegedly we can turn this thing into a monopod. And then that may come in handy. But let's see how that goes. More plastic bags, and finally, 
here it is. Okay, as we said, because it's a travel tripod, the legs are folding over. It has a center column. Unlike many other Ciroi tripods, the center column cannot be divided in a longer and in a shorter part, which means it does restrict the minimum height you're shooting with to, yeah, according to the manufacturer, about 480 millimeters. What we can do here, we can reverse the center column. First of all, we're removing that piece at the bottom here. Okay, that's quite a long thread. And okay, when it comes out, there is uh, another Allen key, and actually, it is a hook where we can attach some weight if we need that uh, additional height, uh, weight. Then uh, we can take the center column out to the top and put it back in from the bottom. So, if you really need to go really, really low, then uh, you have the, the opportunity to yeah shoot that upside down let's have a look at the ball head first the ball head comes with yeah two locking screws the smaller one here is for the pan option yeah really okay it's quite nice and secure and uh, now without a camera the panning is yeah rather smooth then it comes with the second, the larger locking knob, and that is obviously for the ball head. Okay, so it looks like it doesn't come with a separate friction knob, so the friction and uh, the tightening, the locking, is all with one. So the first impression is not too bad actually. It moves smoothly. The next thing it comes, as I said, with an Arco Swiss compatible adapter plate. Um, what you see here, that red locking knob, can you see it? But when we're shooting vertically with your camera in, and accidentally you haven't tightened that uh, adapter plate here properly, it would fall out, just slide out. This one here can't because it has a locking pin in there and you have to press that red button here to unlock it. Another extra is what Siroi calls a semi-automatic leg angle adjustment button. A semi-automatic adjustment button? What does it mean? We are talking about these here and um, there are different systems on the market. First of all, that Monfrotto here, you need to press and hold that button for the leg angle adjustment. On my Gitzo, I have to pull out a lock and uh, yeah, pull it, push it back in into position to uh, fix the legs in a certain angle. This one here, what it does, I press it once and it stays out. Can you see that? I press it once and it stays out. And it stays out until I really go on top of it. And when I then go back one, two, three times, it locks in position. Of course, I don't need to go all the way up. I press it once, adjust it, press it back in, and it's fixed. Okay, what other features do we have? It comes with two spirit levels. One is here on the tripod itself, and the other one is here on top of the ball head. Two spirit levels always come in handy, especially when you're about uh, to take panoramic shots, and uh, yeah, it's always a nice to have. Also, two of the legs have these foam grips here. Um, it's not only that it gives a nice grip, it's also when you're out uh, in the cold, and yeah, it protects your fingers and your hand from really, really getting freezing. So it really helps. Let's talk about the ball head. It's obviously detachable. Normally, I expect to have screws changeable in two different sizes in there. Oh, yeah, I see, and it works exactly like that. You remove it and you have the screws in two different sizes, just matching and according 
to what you need. Then, uh, one of these legs, and it's this one here, says a monopod here. Okay, so I expect that, yes, we can unscrew it. And once it's unscrewed, we have two more options. First of all, we can take our lock for the head and screw it in here directly and attach our ball head and we will end up with a monopod or and I think this is uh, the way it's supposed to work we take the center column out we attach our ball head to the center column where it's supposed to be actually and then we attach the center column to the entire leg. There we go. By the way, the material, the carbon fiber, feels very nice. It looks very well machined. Earlier I mentioned a wrist strap and uh, this is actually what it is for. So when we're first removing the ball head and then taking the adapter screw out, we have our wristband, put it on top, and screw back in, ball head on top, and there we go, wrist strap. Gives you that extra security when you're dealing with a monopod. In terms of legs, we are talking about twist locks here which is always something I prefer over the flip locks. It's personal preference. But what I really like about that here is I grab them all three and just open them half a turn and look what happens. And it's completely extended. Um, by the way, a tip here, when you do that and always begin to tighten them from the top. Back in. Everything is put back together. I think it's quite a nice feature to have. Okay, I convert that back into a tripod and we see how that actually performs. And there we go. This is the height without the center column or with the center column retracted. So now I am uh, 1 meter 76 tall. And uh, when we're putting a camera on top of that, let's simply do it. Yeah, I'd say this is quite a nice height for me to work. Just slightly bent, but okay, let's face it. I mean, this is normally not the height I'm working with anyway. But if we would ever need more height, this is when we have the center column. We could extract it and it's even over my head. So uh, this is a height where I can't use the viewfinder anymore and I would have to use uh, live view on the display anyway. A word to center columns. Normally my Gizzo I mentioned at the beginning doesn't even have one and uh, I always would try to shoot without center columns simply because uh, it reduces stability. It's not as stable as it is with the center column in. All in all Bear in mind, I do have a full-frame camera here with uh, not the lightest lens ever, and it looks all right. So if I give it a little bang, uh, yeah, it gives a few swings, and it's coming back to stability. Overall, I must say, I really like the way it's done here. I like the way everything is crafted. I like the little details. And I also like the yeah, flexibility it gives us. So we have pan head, we have Arcus with compatible adapter plate. The carbon fiber feels very nice and the flip locks do as well. Overall, I think Sierui has done a pretty impressive job here. At least I am impressed, which means uh, my expectations were not only met, they were superseded. I mean, we're talking about a four-section uh, carbon fiber travel tripod. 
convertible to a monopod ball head included for a price which is really really competitive. Um, I mean I said it before just under 120 pound at Amazon you find a link in the description down there. When you're lucky uh, sometimes they offer vouchers and you can save another 5, 10 or even 20 percent. I think for that money it is really really a bargain and I am looking forward to put it out into the field to put it to the test with my camera in real life. Just give me a couple of weeks and I will let you know. Uh, maybe I even compare it to uh, the performance of the other extreme, my 4 series Gizzo. Let's see how that goes. Until then, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I also hope you got the information you've been looking for. And I'm looking forward to see you here on my channel again soon. What's the next thing? Yes, we can unscrew it. Exactly. And now we should be able... Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm really positively surprised. So, and again.